Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. A bit of a different one for you today. Um, so we're going to be looking at how to um, get uh, mutual fund, like Indian mutual funds or American uh, ETF prices quickly into your Google Finances, uh, uh, Google Sheets, so you can build your finance portfolios um, and do some analysis on that or for whatever your use, use cases. If you just want the prices and the easiest method to get them into your uh, Google Sheets, uh, I've got that here for you. Should not take uh, more than 20 seconds. So what you need is basically just uh, the name of your funds and also you need a Google Finance tab open. Uh, this is free, nothing paid here. You can just search Google Finance and you come into this page. So I've just taken two examples. One is an Indian mutual fund and one is an American ETF. Uh, the QQQ, which is, Q, which is basically the NASDAQ. Uh, so what you can do is save for this first one, right? I'm just going to copy the name. You need the actual specific name. Uh, that's an important thing paste it in here and you can see that it suggests this direct um, fund itself we choose that fund and we can see all its details um, but the interesting thing is here in the search bar we get this uh, sort of like a code which is basically a google finances identifier for this particular fund right and then we can paste that back in here uh, and we have this code let's do the same for the qqq also so the QQQ is yeah, just NASDAQ uh, colon space QQQ. All right, so now once we've got both of these, uh, what we want to do is, um, most people would have just um, tried adding this directly into the formula, but that's where the issue comes. The issue is that the space should not be there between the colon and the second part of the name. Uh, so to remove that, and if you're doing it in a formula way uh, for a large uh, spreadsheet, it's not, uh, I don't think it makes sense to go in and directly edit each one. So we can do that using a formula. So we can just use uh, regex replace. Choose, so replace the space with no space, right? And then auto suggest to fill. So now we have the code that we need. And to get the price, basically we just go in to our Google Finance um, formula function and select um, the fund we want from that cell and hit price. Actually, you don't even need to hit price, but um, it always helps to be more specific, right? So here we've got uh, the prices for one, which is the Parag Parik uh, FlexiCap Direct Growth, which is an Indian mutual fund. And we've also got the Invesco QQQ um, ETF, which is the NASDAQ um, ETF. And we have both of the prices live trading here. And every time you refresh the page, the prices update. So you can, if you want to put them inside your portfolio, you can just uh, add them there. And then multiply. Um, but yeah, so important thing to note is the currencies would be different here. So depending on your portfolio, you can make uh, adjustments. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So if you want to look at uh, some of the other attributes which are available to you for looking at uh, mutual fund uh, data, you can go into this um, Google Finance formula um, help page. And if you read carefully, uh, you will see there is a section just for mutual funds. Uh, so the attribute is the, pay, um, so where we wrote basically price, if you look at this formula, where we wrote price, that is the attribute column, or attribute location. So you can change that with one of these and um, pull some of this kind of data like return 52 or the, or the date that this uh, as NAV value was reported. Uh, but one more important thing to note is that um, the data is different for each of the markets that it's pulling from. So you always get the price for a mutual fund at an ETF. That's the easy thing. But depending on which market it's coming from, all the attributes don't work for all of the markets. So even the NASDAQ, the biggest, a lot of those functions don't work. So just keep that in mind when you're trying it out. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll be doing more of this kind of uh, finance related stuff going forward as well. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment and hit the bell icon and I'll see you guys soon.